Today we'll be learning how to use prime factors when we look for patterns. Let's say you're given the problem that the number of rabbits living on a farm doubles every month. In the first month, there are five rabbits, and you want to know how many rabbits will there be in the fourth month. So in this problem, we have a bunch of rabbits, and the number of them will be changing. Each month, we'll have to do some math to figure out the number of rabbits. Now we know in the first month, it tells us in the problem that there are five rabbits. So there's no math needed, the answer is just five. But in the second month, the number of rabbits will double. Well, to double means to be two times as much. So the original five rabbits will get multiplied by two. Now five times two means there are 10 rabbits. In the third month, it will double again. So we'll have the same amount as before, but then again, times two. Five times two times two will give us 20. In the fourth month, it doubles again. So we take our same math and we multiply it by two one more time. When you solve this out, you get 40. So in the fourth month, there will be 40 rabbits. Let's do one of these together. On Monday, there is one flower in my garden. Each day, the number of flowers triples. How many flowers will there be on Friday? So we know in my garden I have some flowers and that the number changes each day. Each day, I'll have to do some math to figure out how many flowers there are. On Monday, the problem tells us that how many flowers are in my garden. It tells us there's one flower on Monday. So no math, the answer is just one flower. Now on Tuesday, what happens to my number of flowers? The problem says that it triples. And to triple means to become three times as much. So our one flower will get multiplied by three. One times three means now there are three flowers. On Wednesday, we'll have our same amount, but we'll multiply it by three again. How many flowers will there be on Wednesday? Well, one times three times three will give us nine flowers. On Thursday, what math could we solve to figure out the number of flowers? Well, we'll take the same amount as before and triple it again. We'll multiply by three. How many flowers are there on Thursday? One times three times three times three gives you a total of 27 flowers. On Friday, what math can we do to figure out the number of flowers? Well, we take our same amount as before and we again multiply by three. If you solve this out, you'll get an answer of 81. So on Friday, there are 81 flowers in my garden. Now it's time for you to try on your own. Today, it is snowing. Each hour, the amount of snow doubles. If there are two inches of snow at 1 p.m., how much snow will there be by 5 p.m.? In this problem, it's snowing, and the amount of snow changes. Every hour, we'll have to do some math to find the amount of snow. At 1 p.m., the problem tells us that there'll be two inches of snow. So the only math is that there's two inches. At 2 p.m., the amount of snow doubles. And remember that to double means to become two times as much. So take your two inches and multiply by two. Now they're four inches. At 3 p.m., we take the same amount and we multiply by two again. Now they're eight inches. At 4 p.m., we take the same amount and we multiply by two again. Now there's 16 inches. At 5 p.m., we take the same amount and we multiply by two one more time. Now we're at 32 inches. So by 5 p.m., there are 32 inches of snow. Now here's your last problem. The number of students at school triples every five minutes. If there are 10 students here at eight o'clock, how many will be here by 8.15? So at school, the number of students changes. At different times, we'll do math to figure out how many students are here. At 8 o'clock, the problem says there are 10 students. So no math, we just know that there are 10 students. By 8.05, though, the number of students has tripled. Remember that when something triples, it becomes three times as much. So our 10 students get multiplied by three. Now there are 30 students. At 8.10, five minutes later, we have the same number as before, but it triples again. We multiply by three. Now there are 90 students. Finally, at 8.15, we have the same amount as before, but we have to triple or multiply by three one last time. Now there's a total of 270 students. So at 8.15, there are 270 students at school. From today, remember that prime factors can help us understand patterns. And remember the vocab that double means two times as much, triple means three times as much.